Sagittarius, this is your forecast for the month of April 2018. This is a general reading for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, or Sagittarius Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your Rising and Moon sign as well. Now, the underlying energy is the Queen of Pentacles. And so, again, this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, are just the traits of this queen. Uh, this could be a business person, somebody who is uh, very talented or creative and also very practical. She's got good business acumen. She also has an appreciation for the finer things in life, and that may tie to the Nine of Cups. So this is about sensibly managing your resources, uh, nurturing what's important to you in your life, whether that's your family, your health, your looks, your finances, your business. It's about cultivating to get some results because this queen has her eye on security. And she's also very concerned not only for herself, but for the welfare of others. So she may, in some cases even put herself last. She may ignore her own needs in favor of those of others. But this could be a month where being very sensible and taking that practical approach could be important. Maybe you're organizing something. Maybe you're planning something. This could be about hospitality. Uh, or it could be about prosperity and abundance or fertility, sensuality with another person. Uh, so you may be focused on your home and, and your environment and beautifying that. Or this could be about maybe, you know, creating uh, beautiful meals. Maybe you're working in your garden or you're uh, trying to grow your business or improve situations within your family. This is about success, and she's a good omen for success with regard to business and financial matters. She tends to stabilize situations, and she tends to ground you know, those around her. So she's a hard worker. She expects you to do the same. And those could be issues this month, working hard, cultivating, uh, providing security, building your business, growing your finances, uh, indulging your senses. So this could be a month where if you're using that two of wands as a review to join forces, you may feel more secure about taking a relationship to the next level. Maybe you're starting over with a person. Maybe this is from your past or you're starting with someone entirely new. Whoever it is, though, uh, it's probably likely that this is a mutual attraction and that you both can keep and maintain each other's interest. But for some of you, this is a, a month about managing and who's managing, who's in charge, who's making the decisions. And somebody may be making concision, decisions without consulting the other person. And that could lead to a difference of opinion, some control issues. And these center around opportunities that are arriving. Maybe there's some luck in the works or some possibilities, but it involves taking a risk. Or in other cases, you're looking at your finances and you realize that you need to be more frugal. However, there are no major cards in this reading, which says that whether you realize it or not, you have more options, more alternatives, and more power to control situations than you possibly think. Again, you're doing this review, you're weighing your options. It may have to do with plans connected to this Queen of Pentacles. It could have to do with resources, whether there's enough, some kind of exchange. It ha could have to do with commerce or travel. But you're weighing your options and trying to figure out what's going to be best for you. And again, you're doing this review, and this review involves the King of Wands. In fact, that review is serving the King of Wands somehow. He is connected to that. And it's likely that there are some outer forces at work in your situation. There could be a bit of turmoil, some things external to you that are impacting you personally. 
Now, this is going to be a month of changes. It could be a change in your ambition, There's a change in the plan. And it seems that there's a split in party lines. And somebody's going to step in charge and take control of a situation and restore the order. Now, maybe you are involved in some kind of negotiation or debate. There's some issues that have remained unresolved and for quite a while. And while people are still trying to hammer out some things and get it worked out, somebody's suffering in the meantime on the sidelines. So this is action that you're taking coupled with practicality, with realism, to maintain some sense of balance and order. So this month, there's some forward movement for you. And it ties to responsibility and taking action. And your action is going to be supported by a solid foundation. Life is going to support strong movement toward fulfilling some goal that you have. And whatever it is, this practicality is going to ensure that you get some long-term success from it. Now, this has to do also with the way you're thinking, your moods, your mindsets, how quick you are on your feet, how you respond to the environment and what's going on around you. Could be, again, some, some drama taking place. Uh, you, there could be some conflicts between logic and emotion and trying to meet some goal that appears to be unrealizable, and yet you do have the capability to meet that goal. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And of course, you can always book a personal reading at thealchemistastrologer.com.